I remember seeing my first drag show and saying, that's what I need to be doing. And I was like 17 years old, wearing 10 inch platform heels, going into every bar in the city, and people knew who I was. To be so young and to be accepted into that world at such an early age, it was like a high for me. And then I started meeting all of these other people who had like these beautiful bodies and these gorgeous faces and they looked like aliens. And I was like, I want that. And then I met this guy who was able to offer me some alterations here and there. So I jumped on the opportunity and I jumped on the needle. If I had to put a number on the amount of silicone I have in my body, probably gallons. <laughs> the first thing I had done was my face, cheeks, lips, and a little bit in my chin. I swelled up so much, but I was obsessed. My lips were like huge and I could see them bouncing when I would walk around and I was like, I have to put lipstick on immediately. So I did, I took like the brightest pink lipstick I could find, I put them on, I was like, oh my God. And my entire life I was a string bean. I was very skinny and I realized that I could have a beautiful body by injection. <laughs> Fill me up. <laughs> and I had my pecs done, I had my shoulders done, I had my biceps done. My hips, my ass, I was in heaven. But the one thing that I regret the most doing is my six pack. They're not perfectly parallel. They look very uneven. Getting recognized everywhere, there's definitely a little bit of fame. I don't like to say that I'm famous. I am definitely gamous. What's the world gonna think? Because they're very critical. They all have a very strong opinion. And I was like, well, I don't wanna have to like sit and read nasty comments all the time about how gross my abs are. They always have to feel like I'm covered up. I always have to have some kind of like a corset or a girdle to kind of smooth everything out because I don't want people to see those weird lumps. So Dr. Nassif and Dr. Debro, please take these abs out and make me the best little drag queen in the world. I would love you forever.